Hello, welcome my friends. My name is Bay. Welcome back to more Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, but I'm bad. A forehead forward playthrough. This is going to be the original game that started the But I'm Bad series back now over two years later with the DLC. We just took down some stuff in the previous episode. These are going to be like 90-ish minute chunks if you want to follow along with my death counter and which bosses we defeat in each episode. It'll be linked down below. Otherwise, if you're watching live, you get to experience it live because everyone else will experience it in the past. <coughs> All right, let's go fight some of these birds. There's a whole bunch of weird birds over here. I'm not sure what the hell these things are all about, so I'm going to go find what they're all about and beat them up. That's your aggro range? Oh, same attack pattern as the other birds. Okay. Just really gangly in comparison. Tier four smithing stones. As a bundle for $80 with the DLC and the base game called Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree Edition. That's not bad then. Why, why the squinty eyes? That seems pretty fair. That means the base game was discounted 20 bucks. Oh, my intro was cringe? What? What's wrong with... I'm wearing a Goonies shirt. It's covered in skulls. It's thematic for the game. No one's commented on my shirt at all. My impeccable sense of... Really? I knew it was going to fall short. Oh, well, it knocks me out of the air. That's convenient. Ow! Chop me up. It's backwards. What's backwards? Well, technically, I guess it does say. No, it doesn't. Doesn't it say Goonies? Correct. No, it. Yeah. I don't know. I am technically mirrored for my camera positioning. So it says. It says. It's nine Ook. Ah, yeah, well, you'll get over it. Nice nine Ook shirt. That's true. Well, if I, if I had my camera facing the other way, but in this orientation, I'd be looking off the screen over here. How That wouldn't really work really well, would it? I'd be staring into the... Like this. They were playing Shadow of the Urgery. Yeah. Where all the important stuff is? Off screen? Oh, are you talking about yourselves, chat? That's what's important? I see. All right. That fireball could have a little bit more oomph. I was trying to hit it as it flew over me with that. Just to be stupid, but. Yeah, there's all this area over here with all of these birds. Oh, other bird. Hello, bird. You were the end of that mob pack that's strange whenever you get like a the random red suck suck you get some estus back hello okay but normally that because mobs are in packs of mobs once you clear them all that's when you get a little bit of a little bit of juice dog ahead you mean bird? I see bird. Multiple bird. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it would fly at me faster, but it did not. Get heavy R2 and get completely stance broken. This weapon is totally balanced and fair. Ow, my face! Probably should use this in case they give me some. They do blend into these weird weeping willows. Oh, more a comment on how all the important stuff in movies and shows and games happens off screen where you can't see it. I mean, that does happen sometimes, yes. There is plenty of... What happened to this character? Oh, they died off screen. Oh, womp womp. Oh, we got little wormy boys. Hello, wormy boys. I heard you should not stab these. They are always passive and friendly unless you hurt them. I mean, for science, the whole area here changed. All the... Didn't expect dog all the more pack. <laughs> it's true. Why is this whole... Why is this whole area so weirdly foggy? Am I about to get invaded? Underground tomb ahead. <gasps> oh, really? Oh. Jolly cooperation and a stake of America. Oh, our first crypt immediately a boss. Okay. It just is a boss fight. Oh, as a ram. Is there anything around? Hello. You have lots of horns. Bird? Not a bird. Everything's either bird or dog. Because you'll have that you only have so many animal choices. See, that's bird. Ow, shit. Get knocked over. Get heavy R2. Ah, see ya. I was thinking there's gonna be another one that's gonna be mobbed or packed together, so. Make use of that Estus earlier. Another benefit to only really ever having like three or four blue juice is that whenever you get refilled, you get you get half or something. You get two. It's one or two. So. All right. Well, anyway, I guess we'll attack one of these completely fine wormy friends. Oh God, they all aggro. They're like the freaking moths. Oh, that is, that is creepy. Maybe they de-aggro after a time. Okay. Do they re-aggro if you've hit them or are they okay? Ugh, <laughs> that was really weird. That was so weird. They get really angry red faces. Oh, that's good. Ah, death. Why is it always strong foe and then death? Oh, strong foe and then death, huh? Well, I have a lot of runes to spend. The Western Nameless Mausoleum. First off, good luck. <laughs> just getting started. Oh, just getting started. This is on the map now? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, put a skull there. Come back after we, uh, maybe crunch some runes or something. Put a level in arcane. Yo, that guy is thick. I wonder if that's the death knight that I saw. It's a boss that got showed off one of the trailers that it's like a, it's a death knight. It's a knight 
He's got big death wings and stuff like the death right birds. I wonder if that is the, uh, what's inside that mausoleum. That bird is not spawned correctly, but that's okay. All right, you do be fast. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm just dead. Wow. All right. So you want to hit them with a spell or hit them with something at, at range? Cause that's what knocked him down the first time. He was just always out of range of me. And I was like, I don't, I don't need to spend mana. How do you fight these things normally? And he was like, I'm going to keep attacking you. So yeah, hit it with a spell. Don't just, uh, now the question is how wide is their aggro range? The left one aggroed me. Why are, oh, it looked like the wormy boys were angry. They were in fact not angry. What's over here then? Because there's another angry bird. I mean, just this. Just more graves, I guess. Hello. Can I arc that that high? Swoosh. Yeah, so a spell hit makes them. Well, two spell hits just kills them, I guess, but. The charge spell knocked it over. Hmm. I wonder what connects to get up there. Maybe like all the way over here connects to get onto this plateau. Or there's something through our first legacy dungeon that gets us through. Or there's like a, it is a cave down here that gets us out to get on the plateau here. Because there's obviously another castle over here, a smaller one. A lake up there of some description. Big chunk of stuff. And this is that other layer that goes down here to the big donut island. Whatever the hell that is. You think I can actually get in that tower in the scorched runes? Maybe I didn't look around enough to see if you can actually go up that tower. Cause there's another one over there where that looks like a, like a pillar, not a tower. Let me just go around the backside of this. Cause we already went over there. We know that that's a boss immediately. That's where we got our first spirit ash upgrade. Yeah, this, it looked like that might be jumpable. Do you think that's jumpable on torrent? It might be nothing, but it might be something. When I mean, you walk up the spiral. Hmm. No, Torrent can't fit. Oh, yeah, we did it. No, uh, dog not good. Hmm. Only way in is over here, huh? Or not? I forgot the way in. Because I... There's only one way up and then you fall down. Dog. Hey, bud. 
How you doing? Oh, hi. Take some extra runes. Ow. Oh, yeah. See, there was still another item up there. Yeah, there was still something else up there. Well, that would have been cheeky. You can jump that corner with torrent. Oh, like that. How do I get onto that balcony, though? Is that really a, a weird torrent jump? No. Oh, you're from the other side. But what if? Oh! <laughs> oh, just some fireflies. That's fine. We still haven't thrown this stupid fire pot at something. Hello. <laughs> I I just trash mobs, but I don't know what I. <laughs> there's a there's a conceit in Souls games that. It doesn't always have to like make rational sense. Where'd that pot come from? Considering how much larger it was than the other pots where you just like one hand, you're like, eh. It's just like you're a cartoon character. And you just pick up a giant pot from, from anime space and just chuck it. Ow. Ow. It's so large. So I wanted to see if I could jump onto this tower. Well, someone put a soapstone message there. But it looks like from this angle. Regret. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get applauded. Yeah, so it's not... I, it, it's hard to tell from down below if the spiral actually goes somewhere you can jump. Clearly, it does not. Now we're like really high up. <laughs> I have to move around here to not pancake. Okay. Well, we have a boss location. We have our first legacy dungeon. Maybe we can start chewing through that. Because our other, other direction uh, goes across this bridge into this town or up here into this town. So I guess we can explore around because there are, we can go talk to some NPCs real quick. Let's get some story progression. We know what's over there by the birds is, is a catacomb. That's just immediately a boss fight. Which I would like to level up once just to keep my arcane moving without eating my runes. Here's our first cross of Mikola. Oh, there's multiple people here. Hello. Hey, buds. Praise the God. Well, I don't know about that. We'll see. I like I'm just wearing Malaketh's armor, just walking around like, how you guys doing? I'm not wearing the hood because this hood looks cool. Doesn't totally match, but I don't care. Skyward tree fragment. Nice. Touch cross. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. Seek holy but whole. 
There you go, chat. You were waiting there when the first one was going to happen. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Are you happy now? There you go. Should I appraise it as well? Yeah. Fine. Whatever. I already got 2,000 appraisals. Empyrean Blood Burgeon. Exceedingly rare to find. A young shoot, heavy with Empyrean blood. Materials for crafting. Said to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Mikola, the wounded Empyrean, pooled. Hello. Fie. Another. Treading the heels of Mikola. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, when your kind are not forgiven, the Earth Three is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. Mm -hmm. I believe Mikola's apologies when he says our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. So the events in this don't take place canonically with the end of the game to my understanding, because I finished the game. My entire lands between at least the Erd tree is on frenzied flame fire. The game was over. I just never moved my character onto journey two, new game plus one. So I became the frenzied flame Lord. I burned down all that Merica garbage. <laughs> so the Erd tree is also not my friend either. If Mikola it is whom you would seek, then comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. The cross map. Okay. Map of cross sites received. Check in inventory. Examine using X. I'm pressing X. <laughs> so you, you just get this little... I'm assuming we're at the one in the middle. So across the bridge in the town, there's one. And then... Northwest-ish, but south of the Legacy Dungeon, there's also one. But it's up the cliff. Like up here get to go up and around and there's one here those are those are our two branches we have we can choose to go it looks like is that all death root i can't really tell from here because we're just looking at the the main gate and I don't know if that's just like gnarled tree gunkies up there, like roots, or if that's potentially death root. Because that right there to the right just looks like tree roots. But this on the map looks like little essence of Godwin. A little, little sprinkling. I urge you, as long as you abide. Yeah, that's fine. We will do the thing. Hello. Behold, sniping spot. He's wearing a battle kilt. I get it. Ah. Or she. Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. Oh. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Oh. Hello, Freya. It's a mighty large sword you have there. As a mighty large sword user myself, I approve. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our Daryl little friend? Yes. If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the cross's whereabouts. Yep. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. Yep. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Yep. I did. 
If you've yet to do so, hmm. assume a new intent. If you've yet to okay. assume a new intent. Very good. Now, are they both going to be gone when I wake up? Nope. Okay. So, yeah, we're still at. We need another. Yep. So, they're probably both standing here until we choose a path. I wonder if their quest determines if we go right into that village castle or we go in here. I do know from the preview events that this is the boss here is the dancing lion, I believe, which is the first real DLC boss. Visions of giant jump attack fort night. Stop it. Tarnished required ahead. Just so many soapstones. You asked for this. I almost held down R2 to run there. I stopped myself. All right, boys. Damn. They swing just faster than me. <laughs> I couldn't AOE them. They just started swinging that, that tiny bit faster than me. Gotta check all the crannies and the nooks. You know what kind of game we're playing? Yes, butterfly indeed. I became way more steep than I thought. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? Still no item. It, it, there are certain communities that all they do is they go jump off of stuff to find things to jump off of that don't kill them. How did I miss that attack? It went right past him. They're very thin boys. Very thin boys, even though they're like weird ghosts. Oh my goodness the attack frames just that that little little bit faster than me just enough dog damn this is just like the gatehouse to the actual legacy dungeon the outer gate as it were really you attack faster than my rep my my sh counter attack? That's super weird. I can't even get the the counter swing in. You swing that much faster. It is dog though. Dark Souls dog at that. Oh, there's another path. Oh, we, we could we skipped a lot. Okay. Oh, is this our path to go up the mountainside here? Hmm. No. Try up. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. But you gotta check everywhere, right? Could this be a pickle? Of all the words they have in the database of acceptable and approved messages, pickle 
is in the translated dossier of text that you can pickle. I know I probably saw that in the in the first legacy dungeon. There was a could this be pickle? Other dodge, doge. Where are you going? <laughs> Whoops. Boing, boing. What was that? Fortnite. Stop it. Bats. Many bats. Ow, my face. Whoosh. You hold gorgeous view. Uh, well, right, not right now. I can't really see. It's a foggy mess. Raise the mushroom. Got some blood splatters here. Probably getting ambushed by bats. Beautiful time for ritual. Literally can't see anything. It's just gray screen. <laughs> ah, beautiful gray screen. Actually, I kind of feel that it's like those, uh, not super rainy, but rainy days, overcast skies, temperate outside, super good, like gaming with at least the blinds open and then like nap afterwards, like a lunchtime nap. And that was like, these bats are crushing me. There's a lot of bats. Okay. Are we doing this? I... Oh, what the hell? My super armor. I got bonked by a bat that stopped my entire black flame whirl. Maybe the weapon art version doesn't have super armor. The actual version does. Okay, we got a set of grace up here. We got this. Those are more like tapestries. Look like skin. Like the the drapes because they're that like that pink reddish brown. It looks like skin is like flapped over. They were clearly like, you know, tapestries and and draperies and things like that that would be floating in the wind and now it's it does look kind of like skin though doesn't it okay we got some large lads over here we have many large lads they have plagued doges all right And we got, they got rotten dogs. Hi. Don't John wick me. Ow. Oh, he's too far away. Just barely too far away. What the heck is this thing, man? Ugh. Like a troll? Like Elden Ring's versions of trolls? Because there weren't... They're not, um... They didn't have horns? So they weren't like Moog and Mog, for example. So we're up on the plateau. That's the crypt, which I'm assuming it might be the death knight boss. 
Damn. Look at this freaking game. The texture work is some of the uh, criticism that's been happening that is a, a minor point for some people. Uh, th this game is still not next gen. Like Elden Ring is not a next gen game compared to like, like Demon Souls, for example. Demon Souls is that next level of, of texture resolution, fidelity. Elden Ring, obviously, once you diffuse over a vista, looks great because it all blends into your eye. But you saw that tree I was standing by earlier that looked like it was made in the PlayStation 3. So, but this game sacrifices a bit of that because of how vast it is. And the, because this game is not very corridor based, like the previous Souls games were on older tech, the additive bubble around your character has multiple stages so that it can still see so far in the distance. Like how far away is that in game space, right? Hundreds of meters. So the bubble has to be obviously close enough to load everything around your character properly. Mobs, etc. We can see that mob moving in the far left distance on the horizon there. But we can still see all the way, 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 way in the distance to see this giant, like, Mount Doom looking crag thing. So... It's the differences in why the texture in this game probably isn't crazy, crazy wild next gen. So I wonder if, uh, is there two dogs with that guy? FromSoft next game, they might go the full nine with it, go like full next gen, but turtles friend ahead. Now I have a dog. There's a double angry pack over there. Damn it. Just really just that, that little bit faster. Probably could have let go of my, my fireball just that little bit sooner, but I, I just backstepped the lunge attack just to one shot the dog while the other guy was walking to me, but. Prospect Town. Mm hmm. Hmm. Keep moving ahead. I guess this looks like the way in. Here. <laughs> Some stuff over there on that side of the graveyard, I guess, too. I'll go check that. Hello, Chunky Monkey. We got a summoning site here. I've played a Souls game before. Where are you going, Moonvale? Ah, sneaky. Oh, can you not get through? We can get through. See ya. Because there's 
two of them here, so. Hidden path ahead, X. Yeah, figured. Hey, where'd you go, Chungo? Didn't only say H for that long, did he? Beast blood? That's nothing new. It's just beast blood. They got freaking 78 of it. Ooh, that backhand's fast. Ugh! Is that just poison or scarlet rot, you think? That noise was awful. <laughs> Turned around and started starting to spit at me. <laughs> All right. Those guys aren't too bad, but definitely don't want more than one at a time, which I'm going to have to... Downstairs, there's two at a time. It's a two-pack at least. They are quite quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing. Like chewing noises, like eating noises. Some mushrooms. Mary and Pippin style. Hmm. Oh, okay. Behold, Erd tree. I mean, you're right. Kind of, maybe. And there's nothing you can jump off of? <laughs> I don't know where that laugh came from. I'm definitely going to be plenty of those bloodstains over the course of this playthrough. Oh, we're going up here. Oh, it's like a one-way jump. Something is chewing on something up here. It's a boss arena, you thinking? Thinking probably a boss arena? We still can't level up. No, I could crunch some runes, but... Is it six of them? Holy shit. Holy shit. Why is it always taking on all at once? Try luring out in short cliff ahead. That's true. Will they fall? One, two. That one might be dead. No one's sleeping. One, two, three. The one is a big stick. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. That's an aggressive amount of dudes. That's the wrong button. You know where the top of your head is. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if they will fall down the cliff, but then that means they would also run around the cliff yeah good god okay they can't get to me this i don't think they can I thought it would AoE a little more than it did. Did not. Oh, see ya. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Quite the angry lunge attack you got there, bud. Oh, they must take less damage when they scream. He has a DR up or something. His eyes are glowing. Taking far less damage.
Hmm. Still three more over there. You guys are gonna find a way to get up, are you? I don't think so. Whoops. Almost out of juice. Probably have to lob it. It's not gonna be enough. Yep. How did I overshoot it? Still gonna be two. Holy shit. That, that side hand. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's just poison or not. Oh, it's blood loss. Blood loss, huh? A purple item. The blood fiend's arm. Doesn't even do blood loss. It's a colossal weapon. So it's their mace. Yeah. It's just a bone. Weapon used by the blood fiends. These are called blood fiends, I guess. An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. So the blood fiends are basically just Elden Ring trolls. Are we on the same page there? They're just trolls? Like medieval fantasy, like Witcher... Dragon Age trolls are just like trolls. Also, I guess League of Legends trolls, considering Trundle is just a big bone. And uh, having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. It also comes with endure. So it does spray blood, but it doesn't do blood loss. So it just has an AOE attack, I guess. It only takes 28 strength. It is 16 arcane though, which means it does do blood loss? Or it just scales the blood attack scales with arcane? Okay. Interesting. Because they definitely spit blood loss at me when they barfed on me. All right, let's, let's throw some of these fire coils at this guy. Are you alone? Here, have some fire coils. Oh! Whoa! That kind of goes hard. Wow! The formless mother? Oh, whoa! Yeah, you get three. Wow, I got three. Uh, that blood fiend just reached into the formless mother. That's what Moog does with like, with knee heal and whatever. Um, it's the, one of the outer gods that just craves blood. Okay. Yo, those fire coil snake doodads though, the triple little fireball, that cooked. Sanguine Amaralis, Amaralis? Something like that. This looks like the other flower we get, but fancier. Like this is the Arteria leaf. This is like the leaf of the plant. I wonder if this is the flower of that same plant. A blood flower with meaty petals grown by blood fiends in pools of blood. Perhaps even the fiends admire blood's beauty. All right, this is Elden Ring. This is not Bloodborne. Calm down with the blood. Plump sort. You're damn right. Could this be a god? Likely gorgeous view. I mean, yeah, kind of. Good lord. There's a lot of blood fiends down there. One, two, three, four. I hear one walking next to me. Five. Yeah, right there. 
So this last time we found one of these rooms, it was just an item. Hello. Hopefully not trapped. Always going to be double check because there are trapped chests that teleport people places. The outer God heirloom. Raises arcane by how much? A talisman engraved with the lore of an outer God. The formless mother, I would assume. I mean, that could be like a blood pool that it's coming out of. It's got long hair. It's got people worshiping it. The clan who lost everything in the great fires peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity and saw it saw in it. It saw in its shadow, a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. So it's, it's not a descriptive outer God, but the formless mother, a shadow, a twisted deity. I don't know. Blood area. How much arcane does it raise by? Let's check. Do 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 It's five. Five arcane. So there was no arcane talisman in the base game because we had faith, intelligence, dexterity, strength. So this one is, yeah. Five arcane. Yeah. I mean, we're running Erd Tree's Favor 2, the Phlox Canvas Talisman, Dragon Crest Great Shield, which uh, if I hadn't had this on, I'm getting smacked around. I missed the Shard of Alexander, boost attack power of skills. So pretty, pretty standard stuff here, I feel. But this went crazy hard. The damage of this was nuts. Very surprising amount of damage. I got some more exploring to do. Oh. Only I had a coffin. Oh, see, there's another wicker man down there. That could be one that may have been the one we saw from up here. Like up here, looking down this way. Sorry, furnace golems. It's a little dark right now. Why are you lifting and tilting your head like you can see beyond the camera? Acting. Sir Patrick Stewart taught me. No! I have fallen. Yeah, hmm? <laughs> yeah, huh? You didn't answer my question earlier. Did Destora beat the the Furnace Golem before me, or did I beat the Furnace Golem first? Hmm. Nothing even up here. Hello, knock knock. Oh, easier way to go upstairs. I find all that's here. I think so. Yeah, these areas are pretty pinpointed on just like one, one item essentially. But now you gotta get all the way back down and around because there's still those uh, blood fiends that fell. That I lured off the edge. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I got to go up that side there. I turned around before. 
Because where did those blood fiends go? The ones that fell down here? I don't know. Because they will definitely have their jimmies rustled. Because they would have tried walking back to where they would reset. But I don't know if they could walk up this castle rampart broken stuff. Rooftop shouted out, baby, I'm ready to go. Anything on the rooftops? I don't think so. Huh, where did they go? They would have been right here. They had disappeared? How they didn't Where'd they go? One of them may have died of the fall damage, but I doubt it. That's not much of a fall. Did they just start walking down because they couldn't get back up? Huh. I don't know. Oh, he did? Interesting. It did get me four times. So. Hello. Yup. Just that little bit faster, huh? Tiny little bit faster. Can't see. Oh. Didn't expect up. Definitely isn't up. Question is, is the up a jump or also all the way around? All the way around. Hidey ho, neighbor. This is a big bunch of graves up on the top of the hill. Up in these trees. But there's enough mobs also just because you want mobs to be able to farm. For your uh for their drops, of course. Oh, I dodged too early. I got bopped. We can go get a level of arcane here in a moment. It's two patrolling in the middle path. Just trying to scope around because sometimes, yeah, see that big, all these headstones, the, something is definitely sparkly shiny right there. You see that? Let there be lover. What? I see dog. I definitely see doge. Oh, that's tanky dog. Holy shit. Oh, 
What are, what are you, your care? Oh! He disappeared? Is he teleporting around the area? Ow. Is that like... Huh. Ghost Glowwort. Don't give up, Skeleton. Hell yeah. Is that like a, um... One of those critters... The glittering beetles that are pushing... That push the poop balls? That you have to... Because that guy went poof. Can I respawn it? You're off to work. Tiny shift. Fair enough. Sounds good. Let's see if I can respawn it. After I clear out these other enemies, see if they're guarding anything or whatnot. So that guy with the pot on his head disappeared. So I'm wondering if that is a... Like one of those beetle things. If I had to reset the area and then you'd be here again. He's gonna blast it quickly. Otherwise it poofs. Unless it moves to other sections of the graveyard, maybe? Mm. Not really seeing anything. No. Okay. And take out these guys real quick. Just double check. Could just be mobs to be mob sake. There's two right here. You already like, just, <laughs> you already gave up. He's like, eh. I thought that was a dog there too. There was in fact no dog. Sacred bloody flesh. Yummy. Raw meat soaked with blood, a delicacy of the blood fiends, temporarily boosts physical attack, power, and arcane. When blood loss occurs nearby, further boosts attack power. The blood is said to have fallen from the formless mother's wound. Never will it dry, never will it rot. Gross. All right. So, already a synergistic item for arcane and bleed builds, specifically. Even though, hasn't Rivers of Blood been nerfed like 17 times? You can do it, bud. I believe it, you. Ow. Connection to the Elden Ring game server was lost. We're in title menu. Oh. See? Another reason to play offline. Does that mean there was a hotfix? Is there a hotfix, potentially? Failed to log into the Elden Ring game server. Double checking. Hold on. This is all live, so I'm going to go double check to see if there is a... They may have pushed like a hotfix or something. Until it could have disconnected us. That's why I always play offline. Hey, I... I was baited and pushed into playing online. There are, there are some positives to playing online. 
So yeah, what I'm wondering is if they pushed a a hotfix. So those don't look like anything. Nope, nothing. Looks like uh nope. Well we'll just we'll turn it back on again. And we'll see if uh if we're good to go. Help! Oh the load screen was pure white. The Bandai Namco logo now is is got dark mode. It's getting blinded there. Obviously, we can play on offline mode, no problem. But if the if their online stuff went down, oh okay, we're back. They may have done a forced restart. I don't know. I'm glad they finally removed the flashbang at the start of their game. Well, well, I just got flashbanged, so it's not totally removed. Clearly, there's still a flashbang. Because I still got hit with a giant white screen, but it was it was before the game turned on. Oops. They're both bad. So just nothing up here. It's just some dudes. Yeah, just some dudes. Okay. Well, we got to see that technically did count as a game restart, obviously. So did this guy respawn? He did. Well, that worked out. What do they drop? They drop stuff. They drop Skadu tree fragments and silver horn tender. Hmm. That's something incredible. Okay. So they're like just rare mobs that also drop the upgrade material, which is kind of insane. Oh, where'd you come from? Hi. Dude, that that left overhand is nasty. Man, it is even darker now. Why is it so much darker? Oh, we can get a level in arcane here, which again, the levels I'm getting now are just for funsies, getting some extra endurance and then arcane for some extra spells. Okay, we're tier three. Oh, it still costs two fragments. So it doesn't scale up that fast. We'll just get some arcane here. The only other style I think I might bump is some strength and endurance. The only ones that really matter. I have 200 M uh, FP. So unless I really pump FP, it's not like a huge deal because I'm, I'm only a half caster, I guess. But I want to be able to cast other spells. So we'll get some arcane. Once it gets to 16, I think I can do all of the dragon's burp stuff. All right, well, we explored that way. So let's go over here. I'll double check if there's anything on this side. Where the turtles? The turtles are? Oh, we got an ashes over here. The body of a giant though it's like a shriveled giant like a storm giant little trunk of a house or something hmm hello you have a doge yikes Don't hurt the turtles. It's 
see didn't hurt the turtles we're good praise the dog <laughs> Hmm. More of these carrion bird things way up here on this cliff. And really nothing else. You're just waiting to pounce on someone that's down below, aren't you? Will this knock you off? Not exactly. And that goes way down there. It looks like there's another little monastery up on the cliff here. All the way over here. Little chapel. Do you have dog? I do not see dog. Oh, I see dog now. Oh, there's two dog. Oh, that's the, the stabby stabby version. Walk forward, gents. Well, not great value. String. Dog did not aggro. Tuning stones. Great arrows. I sleep. Blood stain. That is big sheep. The golden sheep? They look like they're golden. You see that? Because the the shine coming off of them. But do you see that? Hello. Oh god! Oh dude! What the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh. The sheeps and rams are fighting back. I'm gonna say they probably not a good idea to mess with Thor sheep. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Dude, it is Thor sheep. What is happening? What the hell? Golden Thor sheep. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is happening? Ah, wait. Greater Potentate's Cookbook 5? We've skipped 1, 2, 3, and 4. Sorry, we skipped 2, 3, and 4. We have 1. Yellow Fulgur Bloom? Holy shit! They do so much damage. Big rat. Hold on, I gotta I wanna read what I got, but I wanna get zapped by the lightning. Blossoms in the realm of shadows, underground grave sites, and places struck by lightning imbued with yellow lightning's essence, crafting material. Got tier five cookbook. 
a record of crafting techniques of the greater potentate who roamed lands near and far. Yes, yes, yes. This is Hefty Lightning Pot. So... My brain. <laughs> Throw at enemies to inflict severe lightning damage. You might as well have one of them on hand, I guess. They are very funny looking because they are just comically large when you pull them out of your nothing. Hello, large rat. He meets again. Tanky large rat. Don't bite me. <laughs> he just wanted a hug. Definitely wanted a hug. Was there more lightning? Sheep? There's more lightning sheep somewhere. Otherwise, the lightning would stop. I think. Oh, yeah, there they are over here. What are these Thor sheep, man? Nope, someone just got zapped. Oh, here's the big one. Let's see, can I one shot it? So it doesn't blast me with lightning? I can't. Where are you going? Interesting how the item, the Fulgur Bloom, is only a drop, not something that's just on the ground. Oh, Nick, are you in? Did you just... Yeah, I'm I'm exploring more. You did your first legacy? Everything gets really hard because of the new progression system. You have to uh, skill up your blessing. I'm at tier 3 already. I don't know what, what, what you're at if you explored as much as I have. You went in with zero? Oh, so you were taking if it if it's four percent per so you were taking like well I mean twelve percent in the grand scheme of things isn't too much. But when you only have I don't know what your HP's at. I'm at seventeen hundred plus. Since I got I went to fifty vigor. And I probably won't put anything else into vigor. If I get arcane to sixteen and endurance to thirty then I might start putting stuff into Vigor just to throw it away. But I'm I'm assuming this game is not... It's meant to health check you if you don't level up your... your blessing. Which we don't know how high the blessing goes. If it goes to like 10 or 20. Because at 10, you would be buffing your damage resilience by 40% or so. And then if it goes even higher than that. I'm stuck in the tree. All right, what are these rats guarding? We got like a little dungeon over here or something? We got a little catacomb? Got a little cave, got a little hole in the wall, got a little place to go. Rat. Also rat. Oh, thanks for the juice. Is that a hole in the wall? Do I sense a hole in the... Oh. 
<laughs> immediately oh strong foe ahead dog ahead oh oh god what the hell are you oh okay Ooh, you're like a beast dancer dude with chakrams ow ow We're both bad. Holy crap baskets. What is it with this chakram move set? Good grief, man. Ow, my face. I don't know if he's going to throw him or not. Holy crap! Wow. Very mobile. I got something sticking out of me? He threw a knife at me sometime? When did he throw a knife at me? I got a knife sticking out of my shoulder. What the hell? <laughs> it's like when you have arrows sticking out of you in Dark Souls and you didn't realize how many you turn around and you're like this and you look like a pin cushion. I don't know how to get some, so I did what I do best. Equipped the biggest sword and went unga bunga. Have you not fought one yet? Fought one what? Are these guys? That's my first one. What what did I not fight? That dude? That's my first that dude I fought. You're getting your ass handed to you more tonight than I have more in the most of the base game. Well, it's this is super late game stuff. It's definitely like min level 120, if not 150. Because it's all about like your incoming damage taken. I have like 40% physical DR, 47%. And that guy was hitting me like two or three times and chunking me for half my health, right? So, and that's like a, like a normal dude. Although, did have an omen mask on. So I don't know if they are an omen or they were an omen, like omen hunter. But yeah, oh, I've, I've found multiple Skadu fragments. Like again, I'm at tier three already. Church of Benediction. The blessed blue do talisman, the blue do. What the blue do? Gradually restores FP. They've done it. They've actually given you passive mana regen. No way. That's actually how a lot of um, like two of the really popular Elden Ring mods. They have either passive mana regeneration that you can boost with stat allocation or they have filler spells that do garbage damage but regen your mana so that as a caster you would have big spells and then filler spells to rebuild your mana or you would just have passive mana regeneration two different ways that mods have done it so they've just given passive mana regeneration i wonder how much it is i have to like put it on and watch the numbers if i had to guess it might be one a second probably for 60 mana a minute or something like that Talisman depicting the blessed boon that is a droplet of the blue, luminescent sap of the Erd tree. Gradually restores FP. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the Erd tree would drip, 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 goes the water from its boughs forever. But that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the Erd tree became more an object of faith. Well, I can regen some mana, so let me see. Um. Chart of Alexander is less important for this current loadout because I'm not using Blasphemous Blade or the Godslayer Greatsword. So let's put on and see how much this gradually restores. Yeah, it looks like one a second or just just under one a second. 
where it's like one every 1.5. I don't just sit here with like a stopwatch and, and, and look at it. If it's 60 mana a minute or whatever. That's still pretty bonkers for casters to actually have passive FP regen. Because over the course of a fight, even if it's only like 40-ish mana a minute, right? Like a boss fight might be three or four minutes long. That's multiple additional spell casts without having to actually drink over the course of the fight. That is wild. That's so crazy. Because a big part about the scaling for casters in Souls games was that you had to drink or sit to get your mana back. Most of the time. Having that much passive FP regeneration when you're just walking around is actually pretty bonkers. No, health regen is shit. Whoa! The Pata and the Oathkeeper Knight set. Oh, isn't this the chick from the beginning? Is she already dead? Is that her right there? Is that the chick that we met at at the cocoon? <laughs> what the fuck? No, but HP regen is usually garbage. Uh, unless you really play into it. Like if you have an item and in wasn't in some of the Souls games like an armor set would give you HP regen. Uh, I think there's an HP regen set even in Elden Ring. It's the set from the, the skull chick um, that would stand outside the all-knowings room in the fake round table hold. Uh, but HP regen, because you'll always have like a thousand plus health. If you were gaining 60 health a minute, like that's nothing. But if you only have 200 FP and you're gaining 40 or so a minute, that's, a, that's 25% of your mana back a minute. That's insane. That's so much for just overall economy. So this is a fist weapon. The Pata. Oh my God. What is that? What's that character's name from that fighting game? Baraka? With like the, the arm claws, the wrist claws. A weapon comprised of a linear double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard wielded by the Oath Keeper Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. Impaling thrust. I can equip it. We'll check it out in a moment here. And we got the armor set of the Oath Keeper. Black with gold ornamentation. These knights set off on quest of discovery hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. This is the same armor set that the chick at the start of the DLC was wearing though, the one outside the cocoon. So armor sets, it's a little bit Lane Delish. People are trying to follow the grace of gold. It's just like a different, it's almost like a, a teetered down set. It's like the Lane Dell set, right? Like the actual knight set. Yeah, I should have one of every item in my inventory. Like, well, there's Karia. But if you look at the... There's the Oath Keeper. Do I not have the regular Lane Dell knights? Oh, maybe I don't. Damn. Because these are the Halig tree ones. They, they have, they're the tall helmets, but they're also shared by the Red Man, the Gelmir, and the Cuckoo Knights as well. So maybe it's a little Karia? Maybe not, Lindell? Hmm. Interesting. There's just so much lore. I mean, Vati's been making videos on Elden Ring for over two years, and I don't think he even really finished making videos on all the different story elements that are even in just Elden Ring itself. And now we're looking at another 50-ish to 100 hour fully exploratable, fully 
explorable. Is that a drop to go down there? Yeesh. That might be a point of no return if I don't get a, a grace to teleport back to. A lot of gear and stuff that gives you HP regen, but you have to stack it. But for mana regen, you only have one, so it sucks too hard. I don't know. I mean, I'll give this a whirl. The thing about mana regen, it only works if you're in combat for long enough or you're roaming around. Like when you're exploring a castle or something, you're walking around a lot, so you just don't have to use an Estus Flask to chew back up your, your FP. You can just... I'm just saying, it's a pretty big deal to have a passive source of mana regeneration in a Souls game. It's very rare. Or at least to a point where it's actually helpful. Because there's, there's like items that are, they like leech FP or whatever. There's even one in Elden Ring for backstabs <clears throat> or critical hits. You get some FP back. So hold on a second. Did I... This was one way. But there's that huge... I can't really see down the side here. Yeah, it's the only way to go. Okay. Well, I guess we'll jump. God, that goes way far down. You should go to bed. The sun is getting out again. <laughs> yep, yep. Understandable. You got this? Yeah, that jump. I got this. That jump. Uh-huh, sure. I mean, this jump looks doable because there's a cliff right here. I just want to kind of find and end on something significant because this episode's been a lot of just like roaming around. Oh, this is where we... I got so debated. This is the little hovel we crawl out of. This is where we get ported in here from going inside the cocoon. I didn't notice what it looked like from up above because you just start like this and you walk forward. Wow. Absolutely baited. Uh, how many runes do I have? Yeah, whatever. Before we end this, I'm going to just... Uh... Go die to the death knight real quick. Let's give this a good old, good old college try. It's a long way. This game is pretty big. Still running. I don't want to fight you, birds. I'm going over to hang out with my, my gummy worm friends. How does, it's such a strange design. It looks so innocuous and silly. It's got a big, um, like spirited away vibe going on or like a princess Mononoke spirit of the forest vibe, right? Like a Miyazaki film, different Miyazaki. But when I attacked it earlier, such a simple little like, oh, face that looks so friendly and nothing becomes so angry just because it gets distorted by bloating up. Western nameless mausoleum it's just it's just a boss fight um we're gonna throw this lightning pot at it i guess <clears throat> um doo -doo 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 -doo. if i know it's a boss fight i usually want the turtle talisman for the stamina regen so i'm not using weapon art that needs the skill bonus all right, let's get blasted. I wonder if you can pull a mob into the worms and have them aggro on the enemy. Maybe. Sometimes though in this game, enemies aren't neutral. They're only, they're neutral period or they aggro only you. Sometimes a lot of the things don't aggro each other. There's certain factions that'll fight each other. Like if you aggro like a, a knight into a dog, like where the red main are fighting or where I was just earlier today, where the um, storm giants are up in the mountaintop of the giants, there's, they'll fight the dogs. So 
Black Jail Knight. Oh God! You know what? The back of my mind, I said, there's a lot of things in this, apparently in this DLC where they don't let you buff when you walk in. You have to actually like buff before you walk into fog walls now, apparently. And uh, this guy has the multi repeating crossbow. <laughs> okay, so we got, we got a buff before we go in. That's so funny. I heard like the click click of his crossbow and then I was dead. That's hilarious. Oh, that's funny. That's the wrong button. Trying to see what he's wanting to do with that crossbow. He's a PvP fight, so he's gonna dodge a lot from my range spells. Ow, bud. Damn. He's got heavy armor on, so he's got big poise. That's the wrong button. He's gonna walk at me and then dodge. Yep. Ooh, gosh. Nice jump attack, bud. What? Okay, new weapon art. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Dude's got the master sword, apparently. Just shooting laser beams out of his sword. He must be at full health. No, wait, he was not. How did he do that? Link can only shoot bolts out of his... Uh, out of his master sword when he's at full health. <laughs> okay, okay. It could be a little more aggressive, I think, here. I'm not gonna be able to just like trade blows with him though because of his heavier armor. Dude, he has... Oh, that staggers me. Wow. He has... The, there's a... There's an Ash of War now for... Uh, like the Serpent Hunter, basically. That's what it looked like. It's the, the Serpent Hunter charge slash attack. Okay. Good God. Okay. Well, hey. Actually, you know what? If we're doing, if we're doing, if that's what we're doing. If we're doing charged slash attacks, my guy. I got, we can charge slash attack it all day. I want the wrong way. I have too many items. Or just enough or not enough. Uh, da, 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 Here. It was nerfed, unfortunately. And sadly. Really? That sucks. Is your sword higher than mine? Wow, he's just that much quicker. Wow, the follow up for that is crazy. 
I did try to dodge through it. The follow-up for that... The, it's a two-parter. The, uh... It's pretty easy to see to dodge through, but the, uh... That follow-up sweeping attack is not fun. I guess I gotta dodge through and then dodge back, maybe? Dodge through and then away. Or like to the, to my right. No, my left. <laughs> we both went and jumped like idiots. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh, he didn't do the follow-up, okay. <gasps> what? Wait, he's actually a dude? He has Estus? He's not a phantom. I guess he's technically a phantom? But he has, only has one. Hit him with the fast ones. All right, well, he didn't ever did his Omega stupid attack that time. So, okay. The set of solitude, the great sword of solitude, helm of solitude, and of course the armor to go with it. First off, well done. By the way, praise the message. I will not. So, okay. I didn't write down what that guy's name was when I was first fighting him. It's just a knight of the solitary jail? Solitary jail knight, I guess? I don't know. Solitary jail knight. Yeah, took a few, took a few licks. But we got a boss done. Steel great sword wielded by the knights of the solitary jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. All right. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth, the other solitude. Can't really see it, but they're both there. So solitary moon slash, sharply slash downward using the great sword, shooting forward an arc of light. Kind of like the moonlight great sword or kind of like the, um, like the serpent hunter or not the serpent hunter. It was the, um, the giant hunter from Dark Souls 3 was like the power up and you would do the swoosh and it shot like a big old light wave. Well, it was a wind wave, but shooting forward to an arc of light. Strong attacks allow for an advancing follow up. Yeah, it definitely freaking did. I can't even use it. 27 strength. Helm of Solitude. Steel helm of the Knights of the Solitary Jail. Uh, part of the heavy armor set that covers the whole body and overlapping plates of steel. It's a very chonky. It looks like a... <laughs> looks kind of like Bowser's smile. Yep. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. I mean, the armor set looks sick. Wow. I thought I was going to try this fist weapon real quick as well. Because we uh, just got something new. If I can use the new stuff, then I'll put it on. Uh, fist weapons are way down here still. Oh, interesting. Fists and claws. It is a single weapon. No? Two? Ah, power stance. So you can use it like a sword. 
Light attack combo. Rolling light. Rolling heavy. Heavy attacks. There's a very downward angle to it. And then, of course, you can go in. Ra-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta style. Wow. Jumping attack, maybe? Whoa! That animation, isn't that from Bloodborne? I'm getting... Nice. Nice jarhead. I'm getting... Like, that double slicing animation looks like it's from... Ooh, that's nasty. That's a bit of a roll catch. Doesn't have a heavy roll. Heavy attacks. Alright. Damn. That's kind of wild. It is a... Just a pure strength dex even. I wonder which one scales higher than the other one. Maybe dex? Because it requires more dex, so that probably scales up to maybe like an A? B or an A, maybe? Hmm. Standard and pierce attacks. That's cool. That's brand new. I can't equip the other thing, so that'll do it for this one. We gotta put back on this stupid sword, which was nerfed. It was just nerfed in the patch that launched with the game today. Uh, the, uh, the knockdown effect is no more. It does poise damage, but it will not knock enemies over anymore. So that's whatever it is. I probably should go upgrade the golden or a great sword. Just for funsies. But uh, we just use different weapons. I, I, I mix up the three or four weapons that I like to use. Just to keep things a little fresh. Until I have to use something. Like I feel like I need to use something. So. It did make me want to go play the game again on New Game Plus to get another one of these. Maybe I can get someone to drop one for me. So I can dual wield uh, Godskin Peelers. But alright. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch the original Elden Ring But I'm Bad series, that or many others, like all the Souls games, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, both of the Jedi games, both of the God of War games. The But I'm Bad series has grown exponentially over the past few years. I do believe there's over 500 installments. And this is just an extra one. That's it for this episode from Shadow of the Erd Tree. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Still got a boss down, even if I was derping around a bunch. I think we are good to explore our legacy dungeon now or try to figure out how to get up here. I don't know. I have to manually... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go.